The Modbus protocol is the oldest and most popular automation networking system in the world. We will show you how to test and configure a FluidWell communication connection with Modbus Pole. We will describe the following aspects and examples with an F103 flow logger totalizer, master and slave, registers, data types. Set your Modbus pole connection, reading runtime variables, integer-based individual read, integer-based contiguous read, floating point-based contiguous read, clear total, writing configuration variables. Let's take a look at how this works. The Modbus protocol exchanges information using a request-response routine between a master and one or more slave devices. The master sends the request and the slave devices reply. All FluidWell products are Modbus slave devices. Every slave must have a unique address on the communications bus. Modbus data or variables are most often read and written as registers, which are 16-bit pieces of data. Our devices support runtime variables with actual process information and configuration variables with setup information. The variables are indicated in each manual with PDU address in both decimal and hexadecimal codes holding register number and number of registers. FluidWell supports the most common data types of Modbus communication. For integer type variables, values are transmitted without the decimal point. FluidWell variables spanning multiple registers always use big endian register order. In this example, we will test the Modbus connection with Modbus Pole an easy-to-use Modbus master simulator. Make sure that the FluidWell device communication settings match the Modbus pole connection settings and definitions. Are you not able to establish a working connection? Please check the first tutorial about wiring your Modbus connection and setting the mandatory communication settings or check fluidwell.com slash Modbus for additional info, manuals and tips for troubleshooting. For reading runtime variables, you'll need to set the following parameters. Slave ID. This is the unique communication bus or slave address or drop number. Function. For reading from FluidWell devices, select 03 read holding registers. Address. This is the PDU address of the variable. Quantity. This indicates the number of registers of the variable. PDU addresses and numbers of registers of the variables can be found in the manual of the FluidWell device. Let's take a look at how this works. For an integer-based individual read of the flow rate, select the corresponding table in the manual. The table shows the PDU address of 572 and the number of registers, which is 2. Apply the 32 bits unsigned integer data type with Big Endian register order to the received data for a correct reading. Please note, the values of integer-based variables are given including the decimal value, but without the decimal position. For an integer-based contiguous read of the total accumulated total, flow rate and daily totals, select the corresponding table in the manual. The table shows the first PDU address of 6146 and the total number of registers of all variables is 18. For the flow rate data, apply the 32 bits unsigned integer data type. For the rest of the variables, apply the 64 bits unsigned integer data type. Always select Big Endian register order for a correct reading.
for a floating point based 32 bit read of the total accumulated total, flow rate, and daily totals, select the corresponding table in the manual. The table shows the first PDU address of 6402, and the total number of registers of all variables is 10. Apply the 32 bits float data type with Big Endian register order for a correct reading. Please note, the values of floating point based variables are given with decimals. To clear total by writing to the command register, use the following integer-based method with function 16, write multiple registers. Write to the total command register at PDU address 4640 in a single write action. Write a hexadecimal value of 0102. or a decimal value of 258 to the total command register at PDU address 4640 in a single write action. Adjusting configuration variables is an easy way for remote programming the product with Modbus communication. Check the configuration variable tables in the manual for a reference of the PDU address, holding register number, variable, number of registers, data type, and specific values. To adjust the time engineering unit, use function 16, write multiple registers. Write a value of 3 for a time unit per day. To PDU address 49 in an unsigned single write action. Not all configuration variables are writable. For instance, the serial number is only readable. When manually programming a product, the configuration variables are locked to avoid conflicts with programming through the Modbus connection. Check fluidwell.com slash Modbus for additional info, manuals and tips for troubleshooting. Our goal is your flawless working application. Your success counts.